Welcome to the tutorial on realization of mod and synchronous counters using IC74192 in the digital IC trainer kit. So the IC74192 is a pre-setable synchronous 4-bit up-down decade counter. Presetting the counter to the number on the preset data inputs A to input D is accomplished by a low asynchronous parallel load. The counter is incremented on the low to high transition of the up input you can see the up clock that is present here and a high level on the clock down uh, and decremented to the low to high transition of the down input so you have the up input and the down input in this particular case but the cascading is affected by connecting the CO and the BO. The CO corresponds to the carry and BO corresponds to the borrow outputs of less significant counter to the clock up and the clock down inputs respectively of the next most significant counter. So a counter would be considered standard logic or glue logic when a discrete IC is used. However, uh, it would be considered an MSI function that is medium scale integration. So the main thing to be remembered here is that we are able to perform both up and down counting and moreover this is a decade counter so you have the clock pulse which is provided in order to give an up count as well as a down count. You have the load, you have the clear option, you have a various inputs A, B, C, D which is being provided and uh, you also have the connection for VCC and ground and you have the 4 bit outputs that is QA to QD where QD is the MSP and QA is the LSP. So let us see how we can use this particular IC74192 in order to configure it as a decade counter. So for this what I am going to do is I am going to switch on the tra IC trainer kit as you know this is already a decade counter so it will start counting from 0 up till 9 in binary representation and at the application of the 10th clock pulse it is going to be reset to all zeros. So here what we need to ensure is that we connect the 11th pin as input high and the pin number 14 that is a clear pin should also be the input pin and it has to be made low. Because this is an up counter what we need to do is that we need to make the pin number 4 that is the clock down to be equal to 1. So as you remember when I explained when I explained the IC I specified that if you want to count in the upward direction what you need to do is that you need to provide a logic 1 to the clock down so that the counter is incremented on the low to high transition in the up input. So that is why you need to make the clock down that is a pin number 4 to logic 1 if you want to start incrementing whereas if you want to start decrementing the counter what you need to do is that you need to provide a logic high for the clock up. So here what we have done is that um, we have given a clock down to be equal to logic 1 just because we are incrementing the counter. So it starts counting from 0, 0, 0 up till 1, 0, 0, 1. Next is we have the implementation of the decade counter that is the mod 10 counter using the IC74192. So here we need to ensure that pin number 11 is high pin number 14 is low and the clock input that is clock down should be equal to logic 1. The remaining connections of the circuit are made in terms of the VCC and the ground connection. So let me quickly move towards the IC trainer kit. I have already given the clock pulse to ensure that you are obtaining all zeros. So that is why if you can recall as soon as you switch on the IC trainer kit it is equivalent to applying one of the clock pulses. And here I have kept the clock down to be equal to logic 1 and I have kept pin number 11 that is the load to be equal to logic 1 whereas pin number 14 that is the clear to be equal to logic 0. And this is provided in terms of inputs wherein I can switch from high to low as per my requirement. Now the outputs are QT, MSB, QC, Q1, 
QB and QA. Initially, all are zeros. So, a decade counter on application of the clock pulse will start counting from zero up till nine. Whereas, when you apply the tenth clock pulse, it will reset itself to all zeros. So, the zeroth clock pulse is already applied. Let me apply the first one. So, you get decimal one, decimal two, decimal three, decimal four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9. So here I have completed 0 to 9 clock pulses. On the 10th clock pulse, all outputs are set to 0. Next we have the mod 5 counter using IC 74192. Two. In this particular case, if you observe, this is a mod 5 count. So initially when I switch on the IC trainer kit, uh, the outputs are all logic zeros. And uh, since uh, I want it to be mod 5, so that means for a combination of output to be equal to 0, 1, 0, 1, that is QC and QA to be equal to logic 1, the output is supposed to be reset. So what I'm going to do is I am going to consider QC and QA and use a NAND gate and give this to the load that is the pin number 11 so that the resetting occurs. In this case again I am giving a clock down to be equal to logic input 1 that is because it is it's supposed to be incrementing. So you can see that IC74192 which is a decade counter can be modified to be used as a uh, various counter within the range of 0 to 9. So this, uh, these are the two applications that we have seen wherein when one we have used it as a decade counter itself that is up counting uh, another one wherein we have used it as a mod 5 counter. Uh, simultaneously we can use this particular IC to perform as a down counter as well wherein what you have to do is you need to provide a clock up to be equal to logic 1 and a clock down has to be directly been connected. Next we have the design of mod 5 counter using the IC74192 which is a synchronous counter. So here if you observe we have given the output of QC and QA to a NAND gate. This is basically done because we want to reset the output when you apply the fifth clock pulse. So that is what has been explained earlier also that if you look at the truth table you will be able to see that you will be counting only till 0, 1, 0, 0 which is equivalent to decimal 4 and on the application of the 5th clock pulse. Why I am considering 5th clock pulse is because if I am considering this to be the 0th clock pulse that would be the 5th clock pulse it would reset to all zeros. The reason why I am considering this to be the zeroth clock pulse is because initially when you switch on the IC trainer kit itself, your outputs will be all reset to zeros. So if you look at this particular configuration, you would see that we need to ensure that clock down is at logic high and pin number 11 that is the load has to be, we need to ensure that pin number 4 that is clock down is high to ensure that it is going to count in the upward direction. Moreover, pin number 14 must be low which is the clear. So that is why what I have done in the IC trainer kit is that I have rigged up the circuit wherein first I am going to place the 74192 IC and I have placed a NAND gate IC here and input the first one is the clock down which I have maintained at logic 1. And the second one is the pin number 14 which is the clear pin which is maintained at low. Or on the switching on of the IC trainer kit you would observe that QD, QC, QB and QA are all logic zeros. Let me apply the first clock pulse and you will be able to see the combination of the output to be equal to 0, 0, 0, 1. Next is 0, 0, 1, 0. Next is 0, 0, 1, 1. Next is 0, 1, 0, 0. And for the last case, when I apply the fifth clock pulse, it is all reset to 0. 